Blessings. Blessings to you guys. Blessings. God bless you all. Yes. My wife had dreams that I want her to go ahead and share with you guys. Yes. So, um, the first dream I had, I was in a school and I was looking in the back of the school and I noticed that those were the, like the 12th graders, the high schoolers, but the ones who were almost close to graduating. And their side of the school was so dirty. Graffiti was everywhere. It was disgusting. The, the, that side of the school just needed real good. Uh, uh, they needed to remodel it, refinish it, clean it up, you know. So that's how that was. And then I began to walk down the hallway and I asked the principal of the school, why is he not cleaning up the school? You know. And while I was asking him that, he was painting the walls blue. And so I noticed that he was trying to clean up the school. And I, um, I noticed that he was tired and weak. He was just painting. And he was like, I know, you know, we need to clean that part of the school. And I was like, yeah, because it's bad, you know. And uh, it was to the point that I could tell he was afraid to even clean it up. That kind of made me feel afraid to clean it up. <laughs> you know, it's just like it was intimidating because, you know, sometimes you don't know how to fix things, you know. Uh, but he was trying. He was cleaning the walls and the walls were a beautiful blue color. And the majority of the, the school was blue, painted blue. And then I looked on my left side and it was in the classroom and I seen my husband clean um uh, uh, he was painting the walls blue. It was it was beautiful on that side of the school, but on the you know the twelfth grade hallway or maybe eleventh grade, you know they're the ones that were close to graduating. It was so dirty, and uh, that was the end of the dream. Mm. You know, God's mercy will always comfort. God will always uh, 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 stand up for His people. And you see the painting is the change, the, the sincere true change that people are praying and crying that will, bring, that will come in the schools. Right now in America, not only in America, I, I believe in some countries out there, their schools system, the books that they're reading and all that is, is becoming a mess. So the cleaning right here, repenting, is something great. But you can tell that there's the people, some people that are doing it are getting tired. People that are trying to clean up the messes in the, in the schools, clean up the, the whole horrible books and all that, a lot of them are really giving up. You know, they're yeah. trying, but the, 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 it's, it constantly keep on getting bad. Um, but I believe with this painting going on in this in this dream, I believe that there will be a change. I, I just believe that, you know, because uh, God's God God is really hearing the cry of His people. God is here because He's a mess right now. And look at the dream, even the the, the twelfth grade and all that. Even, like if you go around and look around the whole school, see what they're feeding. Unto our kids, our children. But we need to keep on standing in prayers, uh, standing with the, the, at least speaking out too. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have opportunity to go into schools, re you report some things, you call some things out. This is the ways that we all are going to be able to clean up these schools. Yes, and... If we, if we can have that voice back to clean up our schools, we can also have that voice to clean up some things that are going on in our government. And that's why I'm very vibrant when I fuss at some situations like that, because our, the children are our future. Yeah. But I want to take the time out to thank teachers who and principals who won't change. Who, we appreciate yeah, you. As you can tell, there's a lot of, in this, in this mm -hmm. dream, there's a lot of them that is trying to We appreciate you. We appreciate you and all the parents, you know, we all feel the same. We appreciate yeah. you teachers and principals who really care about the children 
in the school system. Even on our Instagram, we posted a teacher who was trying and she was crying and she was saying it was so corrupt in that school. And I, I felt her heart and it made me tear up and you need to be appreciated. Yeah. And we ask that the Lord cover you with the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. And, you know, I think as parents, you know, like I said, our kids are, they went to public, I mean, to private school, but you know, if I had children in public school, I would want to care about what's going on and I would voice my opinion, yeah. whether if they like it or not, because we really parents, we really need to uh, speak forth and um, help the teachers that care. Yeah. If the parents and the teachers that care can come together and fight, that will be a blessed school. Yeah. And uh, because majority majority of us are against uh the things that they're trying to do in the school system yeah. and that's why i fuss and um and i believe a lot of a lot of y'all agree with the, with me and my husband when we're fighting we trying to make you know we're vibrating it like y'all yeah. come on get your voice up your voice matters and god is you know god watching you know yeah. not only should we pray yeah but we should voice it yeah. you know and uh, that's why I'm really picky and I fuss because um, I want all races of people, all humans to voice. Yeah. And I know that America sometimes have separation in race and color, but we all need to realize that we are a race of the body of Christ Jesus. Yeah. And if anything, we need to stand strong. Yeah. And I had another dream. In my dream, I seen um, it was nothing but girls, young girls, and they all had the same outfits on. It's like that was it kind of reminded me of a private school. And in this private school, the girls were gathered together and it looked like everybody got along. It looked like everybody got along, but it, I seen a separation begin to happen. Because I seen girls with um, something demonic inside of them. So like I could see through the spirit, through them. And I seen the scales in, inside of their body. I seen it. And the, the group of girls that had the demonic spirit inside of them was on like the, the right side. And they were all piled into one line. So it was a group. And then it was a separation. So on the left side, it was the girls who didn't have the spirit. And on this side, it was the girls who had the spirit. And they was moving out like that. And that was the end of the dream. Uh -huh. Wow. And in, in this dream, you, can you tell the, the bigger side and the lesser side in this when they're parted differently? Can you tell which ones are bigger? Yeah. It's so crazy because uh, this shows you that a lot of our younger uh, ladies, younger youths, thank God that there's some people that are still in the right way of God. There's some people that their family members, their parents are praying for them, their siblings are praying for them, that are going, walking normally without having all this evil spirit or demons in them and you see the reason why I'm asking the measurement is to show you it's just equal it's just the same it was equal the same that was you know being being great you know being protected and the ones that are uh, that are attached by the demons and spirits and all that you see that a lot of our younger Teenage girls, younger girls, that the enemy is really, really fighting strongly to destroy a lot of them. Fighting strongly to take everything away from them and keep them frustrated, keep them limited, keep them being prostituted or do whatever that, that is not pleasing even unto their parents. Mm -hmm. And this is the, the plans of the enemy. God is showing this because he loves his people. He don't want the enemy to sweep them or to take away 
the promises or the, the plans that he have for them. He says, I know the plan that I have for you, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you unexpected end. Please, every home, every family, pray for your daughters, pray for your, your, your uh, family friends or your neighbor's kids. Please, very important. Amen. This enemy is really roaming like a roaring lion, seeking for whom to devour. Absolutely, because on the side of good, it should be packed. Yeah. It should be, you know, it shouldn't be equal. Yeah. Man. So this is the last dream. So in the dream, I had a dream about Biden. Biden, I just seen him standing, and he had a suit on. And um, he was just standing there, and I seen a huge snake, and it started crawling. And it's, it looked like it was inside of his suit. And I could see it crawling, and it was wrapping around his neck, and it had went across this way. And in the dream, I was saying, oh, my God, is that snake going to choke him, kill him? And that's how the dream ended. Wow. A, a, a strong spirit of death coming towards him to take his life. Uh, and at the same time, let the will of God be done. But this is a spirit of death coming towards Joe Biden. Everybody know that Biden is a puppet. Yeah. Biden, 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 are the family. Who's ever watching this? We need the spirit of love to come back in our White House. You, we, we need it. We need it. And you got to think about your future generation. You do have children and you have grandchildren. I know, man, the spirit of pride is dangerous. Sometimes you just need to humble yourself, repent, and tell the truth of what happened. Tell the truth. Love your country to the point that you love your children and you love the future of your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren. Let the will of the Lord be done. Let the will of God be done. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye. We love you guys. Bye, y'all. <laughs>